during the season of Lent, we have emphasized prayer as a part of our church family's Lenten experience. Prayer is very important. Prayer is simply talking with God. Some of the best prayers are simply, God, please help me, I need you. We don't have to speak in King James English. We don't even have to use right grammar, correct grammar. We simply have to pray. There's a model prayer that uh, is in our Bible in three of the four Gospels, and we call that model prayer the Lord's Prayer. I just want to focus on the first line of that prayer with this devotional. That line begins, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. And I don't know whether you've ever thought about those words, but our Father. And I'm so saddened and so sorry that there are persons whose fathers maybe have not lived up to being the type of people they need to be. I was blessed with a wonderful father. And I hope that I have been a good father to my son. But what I want you to notice from the Gospels is this. The word for father is Abba. And the word Abba is like those first words that a little baby would share when he saw his daddy and he said, Papa or Daddy, because Christ desires that close, intimate relationship with us, not where we have to address our fathers or with a, a, a tone or a wording or in a way that makes them seem bigger than they really are. We just reach out our hands and reach up to God and say, Daddy, I love you. So when you begin to pray the Lord's Prayer, and we're going to work our way through the Lord's Prayer in the days that are ahead, know that the Christ that we are praying to loves us, is with us, and is our Heavenly Father. He deserves our respect, our all, but more than that, He requires and asks for and gives to us love. Not as a aloof, distant, adult who's high and mighty, but as your dad, who I called my dad for years, Pop. So I think when I pray that prayer, I think of Pop. And that's the closeness that Christ seeks with us. I want to tell you one story that I think is funny in closing because everybody needs a good laugh at times. And, and it's a true story. I don't know when or where it happened, but it was to a United Methodist bishop. And we have a lot of fine bishops in our church um, and denomination. But he was invited in a very important meeting to stand and to pray the Lord's Prayer. And he got up to the podium and he paused the, the right amount of time so everyone could be ready. And then he made this wonderful statement of, I invite you at this time to pray with me. And everyone was expecting the Lord's Prayer. And he started off, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And of course, the whole place went wild with laughter. Don't let the mistakes that happen in life hinder you. Because in the Christian faith, we call that grace. And God forgives mistakes, shortcomings, failures, and always gives us second chances. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.